let's continue on our story. If you watched the previous one, we're, continu we're continuing from there where Marcus defeats the police. I would bite my tongue there, excuse me for that. We'll carry on and see what happens. Huh? Resume. Where is she this time? Over there. Oh, there. In the ice. Why she want us on the ice? After what happened today, the country is on the verge of a civil war. The machines are rising up against their masters. Humans have no choice but to destroy them. I thought Kemsky knew something. I was wrong. Maybe he did. But you chose not to ask. I saw a photo of Amanda at Kamsky's place. She was his teacher. When Kamsky designed me, he wanted an interface that would look familiar. That's why he chose his former mentor. What are you getting at? Did Kamsky design this place? He created the first version. It's been improved significantly since then. Why do you ask? You didn't tell me everything you know about deviants, did you? I expect you to find answers, Connor. Not ask questions. He's a liar. You're the only one who can prevent civil war. Find the deviants, or there will be chaos. This is your last chance, Connor. Nah, I think I changed my mind now. You're off the case. The FBI is taking over. What? But we're on to something. We, we just need more time, I'm sure we Hank, can. you don't get it. This isn't just another investigation. It's a fucking civil war. It's out of our hands now. We're talking about national security here. Fuck that. You can't just pull the plug now, not when we're so close. You're always saying you can't stand androids. Jesus, Hank, make up your mind. I thought you'd be happy about this. We're about to crack the case. I know we can solve it. For God's sake, Jeffrey, can't you back me up this one time? There's nothing I can do. You're back on homicide, and the android returns to cyberlife. Yeah, right. I'm sorry, Hank. But it's over. We can't just give up like that. I know we could have solved this case. So you're going back to cyber life? I have no choice. I'll be deactivated and analyzed to find out why I failed. What if we're on the wrong side, Connor? What if we're fighting against people who just want to be free? Well done, Hank. I know we're on the right side. Humans created us. They're our masters. No machine should rebel against its creator. When you refused to kill that android at Kamsky's place, you put yourself in her shoes. You showed empathy, Connor. Empathy's a human emotion.
You're wrong, Lieutenant. My actions were determined by statistical data. I'm not a deviant. I'm sorry to disappoint you. Well, well, here comes Perkins, that motherfucker. You sure don't waste any <laughs> time at the FBI. We can't give up. I know the answers and the evidence we collected. If Perkins takes it, it's all over. There's no choice. You heard Fowler. We're off the case. You've got to help me, Lieutenant. I need more time so I can find a lead in the evidence we collected. I know the solution is in there. Maybe these deviants deserve a chance. Maybe it's better if you don't find them. What's happening here is too important to let it be stopped by a machine. Sorry, Connor. But I'm not gonna help you. I got him. Jesus Christ. How do you manage to get out of the cell? No fucking idea. Come on, you. Get a move on. Where is it again? That way. Come on, run. Talking to you, asshole. Where are you going? Wouldn't any plastic pricks around here, or did anybody tell you? I've been removed from the case. I'm going to register the evidence in my possession, and then I'm going to leave. Good. Be careful on your way back. Androids have a tendency of uh, getting themselves set on fire these days. Hard-boiled eccentric police lieutenant shoes. Stupid idea. It's not Hankish enough. Fucking password. Oh, stop. I didn't mean to say that. Sorry. Obviously. <laughs> We 
ask that you recognize our dignity, our hopes, and our rights. Together, we can live in peace and build a better future for humans and androids. This message is the hope of a people. You gave us life, and now the time has come for you to give us freedom. Marcus, where are you hiding? Um, we don't the have much time. The truth is inside. Is inside. What was it trying to tell me? Something in there. is right there that won't affect that either I need to put that back no way to do it now we can get him working again by taking this See that right there? 
Look at that. All the different choices you could have made. Don't forget to leave a comment below. And there was another two outcomes. So you can replay it again. Oh no. Another one. There's actually four all in. Okay, let's continue on, shall we? Cara analysis. With all androids being turned over to the authorities, the country is grinding to a halt. Hospitals and schools are closing, water cuts, blackouts, and network failures are expected. Maybe most worrying of all, our armed forces have lost two-thirds of their effective personnel. How about some music instead? They've been conducting raids all over the city. Everybody's on edge after what happened yesterday. It's gonna be all right. We're almost there. A little further on that way, there's a large freighter called Jericho. When you get there, find Marcus. He will help you. The last bus for the border leaves at midnight. You absolutely have to be on it. You'll be safer on the other side. It's not much, but it's a start. My brother lives in Ontario. I've given you his address. He'll be able to hide you until things calm down. You're a very brave little girl, Alice. <laughs> you deserve to be happy. Thank you for everything, Rose. Does indeed. Let me know when you make it over there, all right? And be careful. Take care of them. Ah, oh, she was nice. Better not hang around. Right, so we're going. Yeah, we're she said yeah. yeah, I think so. Has to be. No? Hmm. Yes, it's up this way. This one. All right, I can see the containers now. I'm blind. Starting to get interesting now. What am I saying? It's been interesting the whole way through. With all androids being 
being turned over to the authorities. The country is grinding to a halt. Hospitals and schools are closing. Water cuts, blackouts, and network failures are expected. Maybe most worrying of all, our armed forces have lost two-thirds of their effective personnel, which consisted of specialized Android models. We've got to find a warm place for Alice. It's extremely alarming. They're Conducting raids hey, before us. We gotta destroy these bastards before they kill more of us. We'll have to the thing and we torched it. I mean, to think this fucker was watching over my kids? They they rushed the police and they slaughtered them. Those takes a month. Monsters. Monsters, I tell you. Following the android crisis <laughs> and the neutralization of all military androids. American forces in the Arctic have been... This should be nice and warm there. How do you feel? I'm hot and cold at the same time. She's not well. Stay with her. I'll try to find this Marcus. The last bus is in two hours. And the terminal's on the other side of town. We haven't got much time. We'll leave as soon as we have passports. Kara, there's something I have to tell you. It's about Alice. We'll have lots of time to talk on the bus. I'll be back. Stay with Alice. saying that? I wonder what it is. This is weird. I'm playing three people at one time in the same game, trying to do the best that I can. With all androids being turned over to the authorities, the country is grinding to a halt. Hospitals and schools are closing, water cuts, blackouts, and network failures are expected. Maybe most worrying of all, our armed forces. two-thirds of their effective personnel, which consisted of specialized android models. The situation is extremely alarming. We've got to do something. We, we can't just stand by, by and let them slaughter us. We soaked the thing and then we torched it. I mean, to think this fucker was watching over my kids? They, they rushed the police and they, they slaughtered them. They'll kill us all if we do something. Monsters, I tell you. Following the android crisis and the neutralization of all military androids, American forces in the Arctic have been forced to withdraw, leaving the way clear for the Russian army. But according to some sources, the Russian forces also seem mysteriously to have withdrawn. The Kremlin has made no comment for the moment, but it is quite possible that the Russian army has been We can go upstairs. Oh. You're lost. You're looking for something. You're looking for yourself. That was a veritable now we're back to Kara. Very Jericho. Let them slaughter us. 
With all androids yes. turned over to the authorities, the country... Are you Marcus? I'm with a little girl and another android. There's a bus leaving for the border in less than two hours, and we need passports. No, Detroit's under curfew. There's soldiers everywhere. They're rounding up all the androids and sending them to camps. Maybe you should stay here a while. Maybe you're right. You might be safer here until things calm down. One of our people used to work in the State Department. He has electronic passports he can easily modify. I'll have him get them to you. Thank you. You said you're with a little girl, right? You know that humans hate us. Why are you protecting her? She needs me. And I need her. It's as simple mm -hmm. as that. It's them or us. We gotta destroy these before they kill all of us. We soaked the thing and then we torched it. I mean, to think this fucker was watching over my kids. They they rushed the police and they, they slaughtered them. Now we can read this that as monster. Monsters, <laughs> I tell you. Does it give us an achievement or something? I have no idea. American forces in the Arctic have been forced to withdraw, leaving the way clear for the Russian army. But according to some sources, the Russian forces also seem mysteriously to have withdrawn. The Kremlin has made no comment for the moment, but it is it's quite possible that the Russian Over army here. has been confronted with a similar crisis among its own allies. Alice. Oh. A sneaky suspicion. You just didn't want to see it. She wanted a mom, and you wanted someone to care for. You needed each other. What difference does it make? Do you love her any less now that you know she's one of us? Alice loves you, Carol. She loves you more than anything in the world. She became the little girl you wanted, and you became the mother she needed. Forgetting who you are, to become what someone needs you to be. Maybe that's what it means to be alive. I got a bit confused there. Cara, is there something wrong?
We're short on blue blood and biocomponents. Our wounded are shutting down, and there's nothing we can do. President Warren is saying we're a threat to national security, and we need to be exterminated. Humans are conducting raids in all the big cities, and they're taking androids to camps to destroy them. It's a disaster. They're slaughtering our people. That's all our fault. None of this would have happened if we just stayed quiet. All we did was show them who we really are. I don't want war, but I'd rather die free than live as a slave. It was a peaceful march, and you chose to attack. Now hundreds of humans and androids are dead. You reap what you sow. Now nah, they were gonna share us. Humans enslaved us. I'll never regret standing up to that. We shouldn't forget who our enemies are. We can't fight amongst ourselves. He's right. All that matters now is what we do next. Marcus? Hmm. They're hiding for just now. We're going to dig in here. We'll lay low and when the time comes, we'll resume the fight. We can't hide in Jericho forever. We need to stop the slaughter now, otherwise we're next. As long as we're alive, we do have a chance to change things. Marcus is right. There's nothing we can do for now. Patience is key. They've been butchering each other for centuries over the color of their skin or whatever god they wanted to worship. They're not going to change. Violence is just in their genes. They can't stop what we've started. Since you've been here, you've given us hope. You've given me hope. Today, a deviant arrived in Jericho and he told me that he stole a truck transporting radioactive cobalt. He said that he abandoned the truck somewhere in Detroit and rigged it to explode. I convinced him not to do it, to give me the detonator. A dirty bomb. We can't lose this war, Marcus. If humans overcome us, our people will disappear forever. This may be our only chance to survive if things go wrong. I just hope we never have to use it. Whatever happens tomorrow, I just want you to know that I... I'm glad I met you. Hmm. I think she meant to say something else there. yourself. I don't want to lose you. I had a funny feeling. I was wondering where Connor was. Uh oh. Well done, Connor. You succeeded in locating Jericho and finding their leader. Now deal with Marcus. We need it alive. I can't do it. Can't 
do it. I've been ordered to take you alive. But I won't hesitate to shoot if you give me no choice. What are you doing? You're one of us. You can't betray your own people. Don't force me to neutralize you. You're Connor, aren't you? That famous deviant hunter. Well, congratulations. You seem to have found what you were looking for. Our cause is righteous and we are more than what they say. All we want is to live in freedom. Stay back or I'll shoot. Have you never wondered who you really are? Whether you're just a machine executing a program or a living being capable of reason. I think the time has come for you to ask yourself that question. Join us. Join your people. You are one of us. Listen to your conscience. It's time to decide. Come on, corner. Yes. No, I don't want to stop, Marcus. I don't want to stop my Marcus. What? Why would I want to stop Marcus? No, I don't want to. I want... I want to join him. But I don't understand this. I choose to join. Can you do this? That was a bit confusing. They're going to attack Jericho. What? Oh my god. We have to get out of here. Just quit. What's going on, Cap? Quick, we've got to get out of here. Run, Marcus. There's nothing we can do. We have to blow up Jericho. If the ship goes down, they'll evacuate and our people can escape. You'll never make it. The explosives are all the way down in the hold. There are soldiers everywhere. She's right. They know who you are. They'll do anything to get you. 
Go and help the others. I'll join you later. Marcus! I won't be long. Oh my god. I'm opening the door. No, Kara. There's more down there. Follow me. Don't open. Ah, I don't know about this. Going the right way. Quick, this way. Find north. I'll join you later. Be dead. Get down. Be dead. Don't move. Please. 
about panic mode you left quick we gotta go Second, we gotta get out of here. No. It's too late, Marcus. There's nothing we can do for her. We've gotta run. Save. Talk about keeping you on your toes. They detonated an <sighs> explosive in the hole. The ship is sinking, sir. The men to evacuate. Calling all units. Abandon ship and evacuate immediately. Just when I thought things were intense before. Wow. I've got to say, my friends, is leave comments below and tell me what you've thought about this whole chapter right here of the game. It's just been unbelievable, totally unbelievable. Look at the outcome that we could have had there. I. I'm guessing there could have been so much. Yeah. A lot. Wow, that was very intense indeed. If I get a finger button press wrong, somebody would have been dead. I know it for a fact. Anyway, if you haven't seen the previous videos, go watch them. They're absolutely amazing. This game just keeps you on your toes. I think it's like one of the best games I've ever played. The story is immense. It's excellent. I mean, I feel like an android. <laughs> why, why, why am I sticking up for an android? I'm, I, I'm a human. Tell me what you think below. Anyway, I'm going to leave it there. I hope you've enjoyed it. 
hit the like button, subscribe, notification bell so you get notified when the next video is out. Thanks for watching, take care and stay safe everybody and I'll see you in the next one.